Visit blackoutx.com slash Doug for your special offer. Uh, I've often promised, and today on Twitter I promised, that we'd get more musicians and more ladies on the show. Those are the two big requests. And we're, and I don't, maybe even somebody might ask, why has there never been an Asian person on the program? <laughs> also, I'm a musician lady. There you yeah. go. So, uh, Margaret Cho and Shooter Jennings are here, everybody. <laughs> what an amazing lineup. You guys have been very nice about uh, agreeing to appear on the show and also about uh, shifting schedules and stuff. Like you've been the easiest people to book. <laughs> thank I don't you. know why that is necessarily, but I love it. I love but it. Thank you. But um, can I just say one thing yeah. about all of this first say, of all? Before we start smoking, uh -huh. I've known you since before you smoke pot. And right? when you were going out with a friend of mine, a very close friend of mine, which first of all, you didn't go out with me, Right. That was the first mistake. I thought that might come up today. That was the first mistake, Doug. <laughs> when I asked you out in 1990? 89. I don't know the year, but, but around it, there. It was around there. Around you there. had red glasses like Sally Jesse Raphael. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and, 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 and she was a reference then. <laughs> <laughs> and, a, and you had long bangs like, like Phil Oakey from the Human League. And, okay. and you were so cute, and you're still cute, but you were such an <laughs> uptight boyfriend, and we would smoke pot, and you'd be like, you guys, how long are you gonna be? That's <sighs> what I was like when you were smoking pot? Yeah, we'd be in a car. I have no idea. And me and Evie would be in the back smoking, and you'd be like, you guys, <sighs> like wow. really mad about it. Not just like being cool, but pissed. I can't believe that. And then like pissed that she would that be like time. smoking pot like around you, like pissed. Pissed. I don't know. I think you got me confused with somebody else. No, but, it was you. Uh, well, because around that time is when I really started smoking, you know, thanks to uh, Proops and Posein and the yeah. whole San Francisco crew. Which we all did. It was like a sacrament, yeah. you know? Yeah. So those guys. I don't remember ever being mad about it. I'm glad I changed. I'm glad you changed too. <laughs> like, I can't and it's better that. that we didn't go out. You think? Isn't it? <laughs> Would it be weird? I don't know. You know why I wanted to go out with you? I thought you were Asian. <laughs> I was definitely smoking pot by that point. Then. <laughs> <laughs> um, you were on At Midnight uh, with our friends uh, yeah. Tenacious D. Yeah. And uh, Chris how did, Hardwick and Blake. It was last Patch night? And Bart Coleman last night. Yeah, so how'd you do? Uh, I did not win. It aired already, right? It aired. Did you take one of them down? I took Kyle down. There you go. So, so you, okay. you and Jack into the final showdown, and then he mm -hmm. won. Mm -hmm. God bless him. It was good. Uh, Shooter, I had the opportunity to see perform at a place called the Bluebird in Bloomington, Indiana. Man. I had a night off. I was there with my buddy Jonah Ray. That's and, so uh, random. I was so we, bummed we didn't hang. We That's didn't it. hang at all, but we <laughs> saw your show, and I tweeted you that I loved it, and you were like, come get on the tour bus or whatever, and we were already running yeah. around doing something. But uh, that led to, uh, to this happening, and now it's uh, 419, you guys. Uh -oh. So <laughs> we've got uh, one minute to uh, start some Smoking. And the thing I'd like you guys to try first, right at 420, is these uh, items from our friends at Blackout X. Wow. And you can also uh, take that home with you. Oh, these, yeah. of course, are disposable, as we've been telling uh, the uh, viewers week after week, uh, all the different things that are going on with Blackout X. But these uh, particular pens have, uh, you know, oil in them. And um, can you, so you can take these Wax. on a plane. That's my concern because yes. we're all touring artists. Yes, yeah. <laughs> we are. <laughs> and uh, yeah, if you put it in your carry-on, uh, easy breezy, <laughs> like just cruises right through. <laughs> or in your check bag. I mean, I, I just don't, it's not something they're looking for. It doesn't have anything to do with potentially blowing up the plane. And uh, it's also, uh, you know, you can take them unloaded and mm -hmm. load them when you get to where you're going. Right. Mm -hmm. That's when you can put the oil or the wax in. Mm -hmm. And they're working on one that's gonna take uh, flowers that you can actually put stuff a little weed into. Oh, it's mm -hmm. phenomenal. Yeah, and that one's gonna be, that one's called the Dry Herb Plus, and it's, uh, uh, they're taking pre-orders for that. They got a ton of pre-orders after last week's show when I told everybody about it. But for now, for 25 bucks, you get four pens each month 
uh, a uh, prescription, if you will. Uh, the first month is only a dollar, and shipping is free domestically. And uh, but starting next week, the price is going to raise to thirty-five bucks a month for uh, for four of these. So uh, get it now at blackoutx.com. No button. No button. Just How hit it. You, you do, oh, hit it. Are we late? No, we're not late. <laughs> now. 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 Oh my God! <laughs> right? It's pretty smooth. It's pretty smooth. Yeah. <laughs> it's real nice. What Still kind creates is it? quite like a smell, though. You yeah, can't, it it's is. not like you can do it on the airplane. <laughs> <laughs> what? Smoking? What are you talking about? This is vapor, man. <laughs> it does smell like pot. It tastes like pot. Mm -hmm. is, this a, yeah. is this a specific kind? Is it an indica or a hybrid or a sativa? Or does Brent know what's in it right now? Is it hash oil or is it sativa. weed? It's a sativa. Uh, we, we, we go mostly sativa on this show because we don't want people to fall asleep. Fall asleep. <laughs> Although 45 minutes, is, <laughs> you'd be pretty lightweight to fall asleep. <laughs> now, did you have a problem on a plane when you, you bought pot on a plane? Uh, yeah, it was many years ago. I mean, I, I, I literally was at this this guy's house who was a total douchebag, and I remember this guy. I hated this guy. So he had this, like, he left this bag of weed out. This is so terrible. I did this. Well, I got karma for it, but he had this big bag of, like, shit weed out, and I was like, I don't have any weed. So I like grabbed some because this guy was such an asshole to me and all my friends. I was like, I'm gonna grab some. And so I took it back to the hotel. And so I had a carton of cigarettes and I was like, how am I, I got this big bunch of weed and I was like, I'm gonna take it home. I was in Nashville, I was flying out here. And so I took out all the cigarettes and put it at the bottom of the carton and then put all the cigarette packs back in. And I got on the airplane. That seems and foolproof. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I checked the bag. Yeah. You know what I mean? So right. Like, so the guy, the handler should just either keep it or just leave it be. <laughs> right. But you know what I mean? That's what I they should do. I got yanked off the plane and they were like, right before takeoff, they're like, we found something in your bag. And I'm like, I know exactly what you found on my bag, you know? And so. And went down there and they, they were like, what's in, in this napkin? I was like, weed. <laughs> Do you get in trouble? Do you get arrested? No, no. He was like, if this had been crank or something, we would have arrested you, but you should learn not to do this after 9 11. I'm like, what does that have to do with 9 11? Yeah. yeah. So it was still like a story? Like that it got out? Is that how Margaret knew about no, it? No, I just told her. Oh, just told her I got in full off the plane. So. Did, it, oh, okay. did it become a story? Did it become no. a, like an on, on, like no. TMZ or whatever? No, no. Now it will. I, I mean, now I, it's official. I, I've been busted. Shooter so Jennings many times pulled off a plane. <laughs> Yeah, it's where the guy named Shooter has doesn't have a gun or <laughs> or heroin. But uh, that was uh, yeah, that, that's that, that's sort of I think everybody has stories like that where I was just sort of like the cop eventually was just sort of like just you know most be cool, of the time be cooler about it. Like they just they sort of like. Dismiss you. I got you. in jail in Texas. For you did? It. Yeah. Oh. In, Where in Texas? The Sierra, that, that, that one, that, that through by, you know. I mean, El, pa I mean El, El, El Paso? El Paso. No, no. This was in, um, uh, in Baylor County. I actually wrote a song about it on my first record, and it was funny because it, it made the town kind of famous. That was like our best selling record. So kind of that record, that song. Like that town then was like, we ended up playing a benefit to get out of the charges because they charged us. And then at the last minute, we were on our way to a gig and we we just smoked a joint. And we had barely less than an eighth of, of weed on us. And uh, and this guy pulled us over and there's four of us in a, in a car in the band and we rolled down the windows. And he goes, why'd you roll down the windows? And like everybody didn't say anything. He's like, get out. And we're like, Fuck. So I got out and they called the dogs and they threw a bunch of us in jail and strip searches and shit. And then, and then, then at the last minute, they realized that we were playing a show with this other band that was really big in the area whose sister lived in the town. So they called a judge after hours to like l release us and we made the gig, but we still had the charges. So I was like, can we like Keith Richards this and like play it instead of showing up for court? Mm -hmm. Can we just play it? you know, tribute show or whatever, benefit <laughs> show for the town. And we did. We pulled it off and we smoked weed the whole time on the bus. And we're like, fuck those people. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. That fuck worked out people. pretty good. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, do you guys want to move on to some uh, some of these pipes? Everything's yeah. been yeah. uh, preloaded for you guys. Oh, my God. And um, I'm pretty stoned from this. Don't let me forget to take this. You get this to do this. Oh, we won't yeah. let you forget. This More is a wonderful once. thing. That's, so, I mean, you could do this all the time. With the fucking Look at your special this is great. The yeah. lighters and everything. It's ridiculous. Yeah, people, the fans may those for me. Oh, so and now wonderful. I've heard it's not yellow that's uh, unlucky, it's white. It's Someone white. Told me. Yeah, because um, Jim Morrison had one in his pocket when he died, or what? Kurt Cobain had one in his pocket when he died. Um, who else well, had Kurt one in Cobain, his pocket? Kurt Cobain, you can't say that he was unlucky when he died. He, <laughs> he made the choice. 
Yeah, that's true. Wasn't like you know. Yeah, but that's part of the legend. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think Jimi Hendrix also had one in his. They were all also twenty. White lighters just bring you down in general. I think. No. Yeah. All those guys seem kind of sad, but mm -hmm. uh, that's a microphone-shaped uh, pipe that. Uh, oh my God. Made for me special. For you? Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. It's got my God. initials in there. Oh shit. Or my name. Your name is my in name there. Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Can I have that? Uh, sure. Yeah. No. Take I anything from the table. Just please don't take, take the table. One. I want to take this it's one because. Perfect this looks like David space, Bowie man. when he was on Saturday Night Live in 1978. Who? Well, Remember David, David Bowie? Bowie? He yes. had that weird Remember outfit him? that he had to be brought on stage in a dolly. Because it had no that, feet on I the love bottom. David Bowie, so that's You're off. thinking of Hannibal Lecter. That's right. <laughs> You're right, I'm, yeah, I'm brought in on a dolly. Sorry, I'm high. <laughs> or Billy Crystal on the I'm Oscars. taking this with me because look at how fucking cool it is. I love it, yeah. And it's it's got my name on it. So I know. Like, it'll finally so, cement my love for you that was uh well, I gotta show this to my husband and be like, see what happened? I'm just so grateful that he turned me down. <laughs> it worked out perfect. It worked out perfect. I'm gonna use my lucky yellow lighter. So, so the sativa today, this is kind of exciting uh, news in the world of uh, strains and cinema are coming together. There's a dispensary in the valley called Buds and Roses in Studio City and they are the only place you can get tie-ins to Kevin Smith's new movie, a product tie-in. There's two strains. A white walrus is the uh, sativa, and Mr. Tusk is the indica. And I bet you it's a fucking and strong indica. In the movie, it'll turn you into a walrus. <laughs> <laughs> Hashtag walrus, yes. But I don't know if they, I don't know if they make an appearance in the movie, but we know Kevin Smith loves weed. And so he's got these uh, strains connected to the movie. Have you had him on the show? No, we want to get him on. That's why I'm like, sm we're going to smoke his weed today that yeah. he invented. That's amazing. Uh, yeah, A24 is the name of the, is it A24 or A24? Whatever it is, uh, they're a film distributor, and they, uh, yeah, they forged a partnership with the, uh, this uh, the weed store. dispensary. Brilliant. Yeah, and uh, Brilliant. all to promote a horror movie called Tusk. And uh, we're going to try it right now. This is the sativa. This That's, is what white That's what I'm smoking. That's what I'm smoking now. This is mm -hmm. the white walls? Mm -hmm. White walrus, yeah. Um, well, good. I'd like to take the opportunity to launch my new business. Um, I bought the domain today. It's uh, cannabasket.com. And cannabaskets are weed gift baskets that you can give to your stoner friends. And they are, um, you, you know, get them, they're like basically baskets where you would get like a showbiz gift of like cookies and muffins and candy and stuff. This, instead you would get weed of your choice and a pipe and um, papers and a lighter and something to clean the pipe and maybe an apple if you have the munchies, some water, and you get it, you know, delivered to wherever. So you can like order that from my lawyer instead of yeah. the wine basket. Yeah, right. it's like um, edible arrangements for stoners. <laughs> and I'm really What's excited. the legality of that? Can you just send that stuff anywhere? Or is well, it only I, in states where it's legal? Or? Only in states where it's legal right now. And I just got the domain today, so I'll have to figure all of that out. But I'm, I'm waiting, I'm really, really anticipating it being legal in California by 2016. I feel like if we At vote- 2016 yeah, is when it's gonna happen. We'll vote in 2015, and I think it'll happen in 2016, and then we'll be ready. And so we should all get our cannabis businesses ready I to hope go. we vote in 2015, because you know, they'd like to avoid the midterm uh, elections and just do the ones where the, the, where the people wanna vote for president, because then more, more stoners are likely to come out. But it's gonna be on the ballot. I mean, I know it will be, because it's on everybody's We'll make it so happen. We'll you and I will make it happen. You and I will make Shooter it happen. Shooter and everybody that watches this show in California, even if you're not in California, you can still tweet about it and then come to Disneyland as soon as it's legal. Yeah. I mean, that's gonna, it's gonna, yeah. Florida's getting medical. I should just jump right to it. Can we throw the logo up? I've got a new segment. I'm so excited about it. We're already talking about it. It's called Pot the Vote. And uh, I'm just going to remind everybody every week what's coming up to vote on to uh, move legalization forward. And uh, this November 4th, Oregon and Alaska are both going to consider legalizing it for recreational purposes, not medical. They're both medical states already. And Florida, which isn't, hasn't done anything yet, 
is also going to, they're going to go for a medical marijuana uh, initiative. And uh, D.C. residents are going to get to vote on a measure that would legalize adult possession of small amounts as well as limited home cultivation, but the sale will still be prohibited. So that's interesting. That's, that's uh, real strange. Yeah, because like that's it's weird that that's getting pushed through. You you think that the lobbyists would be more on the side of whatever is going to make rich people more money? Yeah, <laughs> and the selling of it is the most key thing to any conservative being swayed in in our direction. Is that all the money you can make? And look at how much money they're making though. In Colorado, they're making so much, and in Washington, they're making so much. It's clear how beneficial this is. Didn't they like sell out of weed in in Denver? or something. <laughs> uh, well, I know that Seattle, like the city, has had, uh, you know, a lot less weed than they, you know, than they could sell. You know, like they, uh, they've they had a lot less supply and a ton of demand. But, uh, you know, they're getting there. For whatever reason, Colorado just was on it. When it was January 1st, the places were open, the lines were long, but now they've yeah. been running ever since. And there's been uh, no issues whatsoever. And uh, I'll jump ahead to one of my pot topics for today. Um, uh, the Denver Broncos officially prohibit people from smoking in the stadium during the game. Mm -hmm. They just say you can't do it and mm -hmm. they'll shut you down if you try. So what people are doing is they're, uh, you know, pre-gaming out in the parking lot. Uh, you, you know, uh, they're having tailgate parties, but they're they're very weed centric uh, parties. That's funny. and and there's a uh, dispensary right across the street. Oh, that's awesome! Called the Mile High Cannabis, <laughs> and uh, yeah, and so it services the fans. They can run over there and buy some, and then they smoke it. And so far, nobody's nobody's been hassling people for smoking in the parking lot. Right. Uh, that sounds like so much fun. That, yeah, that's a lot better. <laughs> Man, oh. that's like, I, I can, I, the mental picture of that cracks me up. Just a bunch of like, instead of like drunk people, it's like super stoned people in a parking mm. lot. It's not, not a lot of screaming. Yeah, so yeah. Heavy metal lights. parking lot yeah, would be a like, different it's, movie. It's very heavy metal parking if lot. If it was all stoners. Yeah. It's, it's like, like prog rock just parking be like lot. Quiet. Yeah. Everybody's eating. I would go to the, I would, if I lived anywhere near there, <laughs> yeah. I would just go to, to the, the parking, parking lot on Sunday. Yeah. That's a free party if you walk in. <laughs> you don't even free. have to pay to park. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't have had to pay for the damn ticket for the, to be able to, you know, you just go there and get it for free. You must have played a lot of, uh, both of you, a lot of festivals and stuff. Like, I've seen you at Bonnaroo. We yes, did a video, we fun a video. And uh, <laughs> I saw you there, and... Uh, Everywhere you go in Bonnaroo, people are just smoking openly, and yeah, security yeah. does nothing about they it. They don't care. It's amazing. You go down yeah. to Shakedown Street, you buy whatever, and then you, you know. What else? What other places have you guys been to that are just like completely open to weed like that? Well, Made in America, the the festival I was with Cypress Hill over there. Like, sure, yeah. anywhere <laughs> Cypress Hill shows up, weed's okay. But there was fifty thousand people in front of City Hall in downtown LA at four o'clock. Everybody was smoking pot, like. That's a huge amount of people, 50,000, if you think about how many people that is. Yeah. It's pretty phenomenal. And everybody had pipes and, and vape pens and everything was like, it, it, it was so stony. It was so <laughs> one love. And people must see you and just like, are so excited to get you high. So many things get passed to me. I'm surprised that so I don't have- So many things in your face. Yeah, all of my face. I'm, I'm like, I, I should have mono by now because everybody's like break, oh. putting shit in my Isn't face. Isn't that a weird thing about smoking with everybody all the time? Is it, I, you know? Maybe don't I've just built up a tolerance or something, but I, yeah, I, I don't I get agree. sick very often. I don't do Even that. when I smoke with somebody who says I'm sick, I don't usually don't get sick. You yeah. still smoke with them when they say yeah. that. Yeah, Dude, I'm oh, yeah. sick. There's something antibacterial about I've it. I've got the yeah, plague. So. Mm -hmm. uh, we funny. have to go to a break. I've got another pot topic when we come back with Shooter Jennings and Margaret Cho.
this is pretty awesome. I think we can do it, you guys. Uh, the record number of viewers live to this program happened last Thursday. Did it? We had the Trailer Park Boys on. Oh, right on. Yeah. They're and hilarious. They were so funny, and they were so high, because they just came from a, th a thing with Snoop. Oh, yeah, yeah. And uh, so they were out of their minds high. But uh, we got 3,000 views or more, like 3,090, I think, or something. And. Uh, but so far today, we're already up to uh, 2,572. Right on. Yeah. yeah. Possibly, it's like a telephone. Possibly even more. Uh, it might even be more because, you know, I'm not looking at it right now. Like, it's funny that everybody watching the show, the counter is on there for them to see. So the only people that don't know how many watch people are watching are the three of us. <laughs> <laughs> we're the ones in the dark. So they bring me cards. And uh, what is this? Somebody just, somebody tweeted, Doug, 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 smiley face. <laughs> <laughs> Doug, and the, the name is Doug's Backdrop. People keep inventing, uh, <laughs> I liked how quickly you turned and looked at it. Like, I wanna know what it I is. I gotta see it, yeah. It's, yeah. We're in this basement is basically the it's idea. In the basement, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Love it. that's good. Cause you know, just right. cause we have to keep it underground doesn't mean we can't explore the universe. <laughs> <laughs> I like this place. Have you done that Snoop Dogg one? The Snoop Dogg's GTN? Uh, there's been discussion of him doing my show and uh, me doing his show, and then there's and then there becomes this weird standoff where it's like, which is going to happen well, first? Well, I I did his and then I did B reels, and I feel like you're getting me higher than them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I'm like, so, I'm like so hard. It's hard for me to get high. I mean, I've been smoking pot for like 35 years, so it's very challenging. <laughs> well, what was the, uh, so, uh, but Be Real was like probably, you know, like a massive bong or something? No, we smoked um, a joint, uh, uh, a, a, num a number of joints, but we smoked a joint in his car. Right, so you got hot box. Yeah, we got but hot it's box. still joints, though. Joints don't really do it for me anymore. Like, I, I'm. I, yeah. I only, I like joints and we, I don't really hit bongs anymore because it, like, it screws my voice up. Oh, and really? It, oh, that's yeah, important. Yeah, I get yeah. way too high, too. But it's like, that's the only thing that I get. I get so high, I get paranoid, and then I'm like, I think it fucks with me. So I just, so my, I, joints would be my choice all the time. How about dabs? What's that? Dabs? Um, <laughs> I see, I'm so not, I'm like a pro weed smoker, but the terminology. Yeah, there's these things they call uh, concentrates. Concentrate. And they, it's a hash. And they, and they, oh. they, they heat them up with a torch. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's Don't, a give hash. A a well, yeah. Like, Don't give a stoner a blow torch. Well, I like, I'm. Don't give a stoner a blow torch. people are getting hurt. It's true. Yeah. Yeah. Don't, no. I get too high with hash too. It's I, too professional. I do it at my house. I feel like Jennifer Beals in Flash Dance. <laughs> you know, the sparks are flying everywhere. And I'm like, she's a maniac. Yeah, yeah she, she was. I want this man now. She wasn't even getting high. No. Wow. She was just welding. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> here you go. Can I this one? How do you do this? Is there a carb? Oh no! Uh, uh, why uh, is it uh, all falling that's apart? That's what you do. Is you uh, you yank that out when you've had uh, uh, you know as much as you want to uh, hit. Okay. Yeah. Did you use this one before? I don't think there's a carb. Yeah, we've used it. Yeah, we we try to use them all. I I love this thing. The uh, the ty whale. The typhoon. Because it's like I don't know. It just feels very sophisticated for some reason. Do I and pull this, out this or this? We put the indica in this. Don't worry, it's, you've, you've already blown it. No, <laughs> no, no, wait, no. <laughs> See, I was, I, I See, that's another thing stoners shouldn't try to do is build things, you know? Like, Engineering I don't is come different. home from Ikea, get high, and then go to work. <laughs> oh, well, that probably wouldn't be that much worse, because I can't put that shit together in any state. That's yeah, beautiful. that thing's beautiful, though. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's really like you just want to sit around in the drawing room, you know, with a good book. I want some... this for my pussy and my asshole. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right, Mark. I wrecked it. This is why Doug didn't why go did out with me thirty years ago. Why didn't I? Why didn't you go so out weird. with me? What a weirdo I was. Because you were. See, that's the thing. Is I was scared. You were very uh, dominatrixy at that time. I was actually professional dominatrix. You just, at like that time. sat in my lap in, in a full leather outfit. Which one is day. freaky. Think about that. I was that. scared as shit by that. But think about how freaky that is now that we know each other. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it is weird. It's really freaky. <laughs> oh my god. You want to try it? It's like, supposed to be a dry a dry pipe, but we put water in it. We're like that. <laughs> here, Where is this from? Getting, Where, where'd you get this? Getting dug with high. We're just fucking rebels. Where'd you get this? What? <laughs> where did you get this? This fell is from Chameleon Glass, which a lot of my pieces are because they just car, sent me right? a giant box of them. That's like a huge pipe is what that looks like. Yeah. yeah. You put water in it. I'll light it for you because That's it's fun. like... 
put your finger in that cup. <laughs> yeah. Teamwork. Ooh. Ooh. It's like a. It's. I don't know. It's like she a weird. Just turned like into a... an alarm that <laughs> went off faster than any alarm in the history of alarms. Just twice. Everyone's like, "That's it." It's not going to bother us for the next 15 minutes. <laughs> Have you ever had one of those go off during a show? No. I fucking had it had like a couple of times, like what on happened? stage in Vegas. What did you do? <laughs> nobody moves. Like nobody fucking jumps up. Like let's get the fuck out of here. What did Steve come out and like? This is part of the show. Yeah, Steve Sharippa is who she's referring to. Used to run the improv at the Riviera, and a lot of us used to work for him. And then he ended up being on The Sopranos. Steve Sharp. And when he got killed, I was so happy. It was good. Then he has a no, reality show. He's a nice show. guy. He has a reality <laughs> show on like ID or something, like one of those crime he's networks. Got, he's got three or four things going on at once yeah. all the time. He's got books coming out about, you know, uh, mafioso. I still want to ask, I, every time I say, how much time should I do? <laughs> What? Because I think he's running the club. I don't think he's like famous. I think he, I don't oh, when you like, see him anywhere, you yeah. say that to him. I go, how much time should I do? I love it. <laughs> like, oh, I don't work there anymore. He makes fun of a joke that I did like the first year that I was getting paid to do comedy. Since the, since the first time he saw it to this day, he brings it up every time he sees me. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. That's so funny, man. <laughs> so funny. Uh, we were talking with I was Doug Stanhope and I worked together there one week, and he just tore Doug a new one every. Every single Why? night. He was merciless to him, but we were all thrilled it wasn't us that he was being mean to. Like, he picks one comic each week yeah, and tears him. into him and rides him. So weird. I knew, but Doug is a genius. Why would he do that? He was brand new. He was terrible when he started. He did, he'd admit it really bad. I can't even imagine. I know. It's impossible to imagine he's so, so good at it. You? You, you know Doug Stanhope? Doug Stanhope. No. Oh, you gotta you check out him. his shit. He's yeah. So, he's oh, my he's favorite. Him. I mean, he's so. He's more, he's kind of the more hard drinking version. He's the hard drinking Doug. We're like, uh, <laughs> yeah, he did, they did a great episode yeah, of this show. Yeah. And he was, he was getting, um, drunk with, uh, but he did smoke a little he and, did? He, and he did I've get a little seen, high and he didn't seem to mind it too much. Oh, I've never seen him so hot. That's funny. I think I know we've had some man. guinea pigs on the show. Some people have come on just it. like, ah, fuck it. I'll smoke for the occasion for the, for just to do it, you know? Mm -hmm. And that's why. And you guys, I'm telling you, James Franco does not smoke weed, but he's saying he'll come on the show. <laughs> and I think it's because they'll come on and say, hey, I don't smoke weed, but let's see what happens. And then we'll get to see what he's actually like when he's high. <laughs> he's not going to do it now. I just blew it. He should do it. I just totally. He should totally do it. He should do it. There's no way he's coming on. He'll do he'll it. He'll do it. He um, did a fucking soap opera. <laughs> Tell him that if he does, he, uh, I could, I could um, dominate him because I think that's what he likes. Because I used to do that for a living, remember? Yeah, that's good. So I could, uh, I could do that. <laughs> I know it's really appealing. <laughs> Dude, if you do the show, Margaret Cho will sit on you. I, uh, yeah, doesn't it seem like she it's really appealing? She will totally whip you. It seems really appealing. Yeah, why wouldn't you want that? Why wouldn't you want that? <laughs> do you? How high do you guys have to get to get uh, your ink when you get tattooed? Are you are you stoned then? Yeah. Or I drunk? Feel like or drunk? Or drunk? more when you're. I mean, I've gotten drunk and got. I've been somewhat drunk for almost every tattoo that I've ever had, but. Smoking in the weed, I actually am like, I'll do it, and a lot of times I've gotten them, I was already high, but I don't like smoke before I go on because I feel like it hurts more because I feel like I feel like I focus on it and I can feel the pain and I'm kind of like, ah, oh, that really That's hurts. True. And I'm kind of like in a tense state of mind, which doesn't work that well with weed as well as if you relax. So I find drinking is a lot easier. <laughs> sure. Drinking makes me um, bleed out more. So, Me too, but everybody that. But, yeah. But you're drunk while it's happening. That's true. So. But smoking pot, Zooms like during, by. like, I, I like to smoke pot actually with the artists that I'm with if they smoke pot before and just hang I mean, everybody that does my work is like my friend. So, you know, that's something that is part of the ritual of it. Right. Yeah, for sure. Definitely I'm, I'm the vibe of... this. I'm, I'm, I'm actually rubbing it so I could get some wishes. Yeah. It's, uh... <laughs> I think a genie's going to come out. <laughs> Aww. You're really in love with that. I thing. love this. I want to get it. I'm gonna. Um, I'm gonna find out where to. Get, give me, can you tell me where to get it? Uh huh. Because I. I think that it's the most genius thing I've ever seen. It's called Chameleon Glass. God, it's They're out really, of Scottsdale, and they'll ship it to you. And nothing they've ever shipped me has has broken. It's like it's really like a work of art. 
That's awesome. Video. You know I'm gonna put it on my pussy and my asshole. I think I've seen it. You know I. I, I saw it uh, the other day walking through SeaTac Airport. There was a that was a giant version of that. Oh yeah, yeah. It's like public it totally art. looks like because yeah. This is something that would go airport. in like a. It's like it's like <clears> yeah. <throat> it's gonna go in front of the TGI Fridays. Yeah, right there in front of it. I thought of, <laughs> I've thought of like a million things to talk about. There's so much to talk to you guys about, but let's do another uh, pot topic because uh, I want to hear that thing again. <laughs> it's always fun. We're gonna need a song for Pot the Vote. I was thinking like, Pot the Vote. <laughs> Pot the Vote, baby. <laughs> Don't That's... tip the vote over. That's funny. Yeah, we'll get somebody the next time we have. Oh, maybe. I'll do it. <laughs> You'll yeah. sing it? Yeah, sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, happily. I love it. That'll be hilarious. People will be like, what's that? I'll be like, Shooter Jennings. <laughs> <laughs> ShooterJennings.com. Because uh, I, I will say this before I do the pot topic. Uh, that show I saw you do at the Bluebird uh, was, yeah, you were was tweeting so much all fun. That. It's like thank you, man. You do a long show and you play like uh, you, know, you know like the guys that are in your band sort of uh, open for you and play a lot of uh, yeah they were my dad's play a lot of classics band. and stuff. Do you think that country artists it's on them more than any other kind of musician to you know, play what the people like. Like, if they walk in not knowing who you are, they still got to recognize some of the songs. Uh, okay. When, <laughs> see, when, when you when you caught you're catching me on this tour that I'm doing with my dad's old band, so we're doing a lot of his stuff. And there's, but there's a, not an obligation. But that's like one of my biggest battles is that there should not be an obligation for that. And, Absolutely. And because see, it, like mm -hmm. I'm a rock kid growing up, mm -hmm. MTV kid and stuff, and so like I grew up on. Like Nine Inch Nails and bands like those. Well, you that did a Nirvana was, cover that night. Yeah. It was something amazing. Yeah, that yeah. was amazing. And Jonah you, went man. to take a shit or something and he <laughs> missed it. And, and he was upset about it for the rest of the weekend <laughs> because I kept talking about how great it was. And he was just like, man, so yeah, that was so it. nice of you. But you know, with country, it's just like, I mean, there's a lot of the songwriting, like you enjoy to play shit. Like, I love playing the certain covers that I do, but it could be country, it could be anybody else. But my mindset is more of, you should be able to kind of not have to cater to what your audience expects you to do. Because a lot of people in that field particularly are very like judgmental of that. And you know, I'm always trying to tip it and go darker and go crazy. But I think more so than comedy, you yeah. end up in bars sometimes where people just wander in. Like, yeah. like oh, yeah. Margaret and I are at a point where if, even if we're playing a bar, chances are it's full of people that knew it was right. gonna be us. Yeah, 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 cause they've tweeted about it and people are going. But country, there's a long, there's such a long tradition. I mean, when I hear your music, I actually hear a lot of punk rock. Sure. Which is really like, for me, it's it's like, is this punk? I feel like it's punk rock, yeah. you know, through an, an American filter, and that's really exciting. Sure. Yeah, I mean, you know, for me, I, I mean, I, I grew up on all of all of that kind of music, and you know, I was like fucking loving Danzig when I was like mm. nine, <laughs> you know what I mean, or whatever, like, or whenever it was that that the first Danzig record came out. But anyway, but like, I just I just feel like the, the, the music as a whole is just, it's so messy and the genre thing is just there to to kind of sell it. And so it's and to me, just like it is, I'm sure like as you learn your audience and you learn what it's like to be in your field versus other people and what those audiences are like and what's important to the fans and what's important to you, by the time you get to a place where I'm at now, I'm like, I would much rather just blow people's minds and be weird and make them leave or love it, you know what I mean? So, Well, it was a really fun show Thank and the uh, the album is yeah. called Don't Wait Up for George. It's a tribute to George Jones, but it's it's all over the place. I thought that was a drawing of him like, yeah. and not you. And uh, <laughs> yeah, and uh, that's awesome. So it's a it's five songs. It's an EP. So it's a ten inch vinyl. And um, where do they get it? Can they get it from your like website? You could get it anywhere that those records are sold, vinyl or CD. I mean, they're in all stores. But and then on a line at our website, uh, bcrmedia.com is our label. It's a lot of other stuff. We have a Ron Jeremy record that we put out, and all kinds of wow. Big oh, that sounds tuneful. What yeah. is, he is plays piano. Oh, he plays piano? He does. Ron so Jeremy, is it an instrumental? Classical piano. Oh, my God. It's like a classical Whoa. piano. It's called Understanding Appreciating And does he ever music. show wow. off and like he's down here on these keys and just hits yeah. one note with his dick <laughs> over here? Yeah. <laughs> does that exact thing. It seems like something he would do. Yeah, that's, uh, that, that is actually on the record. <laughs> that's oh, amazing. Nice. Yeah. That's so uh, good. Uh, so the other pot topic, you don't have to play the thing, uh, is uh, uh, <laughs> sure. that uh, marijuana decriminalization, decriminalization <laughs> I always have trouble with that one, uh, is uh, going to happen in Philadelphia. 
which is, I love that city. I love that city it's too. It's a great, it's, it's, I, it's places, already a good pot town for me if you find the right alley. You know? In Philadelphia? Yeah. yeah, yeah I don't yeah, go fun. often. I don't, I don't think, uh, really for me, fun. like I was not a regular comedy club. I think there is one now. There's this place, Helium, there yeah, that which I play is great. a lot. It's great, but then also you could play. There's a bunch of theaters and things you could play. Like, you should play there. Like you, you'd I've only huge. done it like twice, I think. Yeah, you, well, then you're overdue. Mm -hmm. You know, people come in from New Jersey, too, you know, so then you don't have to go to New Jersey. <laughs> Camden. It comes to you. <laughs> Camden used to be, like, I used to have, like, a joke where I'd have to have a local, re local reference of, like, the place everybody <laughs> makes fun of. Yeah. And when I'd play in Philadelphia, I'd say Camden. They'd go, really? probably go crazy. <laughs> That's I've never funny. been to Camden. I don't, know. It's, it's I don't have anything most, against Camden. <laughs> it's, well, it's the most dangerous city in the United States. It's always number one on the list. And, and there's a club there, and I always wanted to play it. And I still haven't played it, but there's this one club I almost played there, and I was just like, I just wanted to go there just to see how bad it was. Because Flint, Michigan was second, and I play there all the time. And I was like, they're right, you know. <laughs> so If that's number two, number one's going to be really bad. <laughs> yeah, wait, yeah. You got to see that. And St. Louis was three. Really? Yeah. Interesting. I like playing St. Louis, but, oh, but it is a, but it is a tough though. place. I mean, it can be they tough. have tough times there. For yeah. Sure. Yeah. It can be really bad. Uh, yeah. It's, it's kind of Detroit esque down there. Yeah. Remember the catch there? Did we do what? the catch there? We did the catch there. The catch in, in St. Louis. Yeah, yeah. We did. It, we did it. It moved around, but at one point it was in this cavernous yeah. room. Yeah. No, you did. You and I did it together. Station. You came and did a guest set. You you were like. And then we did the San Diego Improv together a couple of times. Oh, you and I did a couple of gigs where I was like middling or you were you were headlining? Maybe. We ran into each other, of course, in Atlanta because you spent a lot of time there with your various TV projects. Mm -hmm. So uh, at there. the Laughing Skull. Well, this is my t-shirt to the comedy festival. There it is, the right Laughing there. Skull. So I'm representing. <laughs> Laughing Skull, the tiniest Hi, comedy Marshall. club in the world. 73 seats. Hi, Marshall Childs. <laughs> Great club. Very tiny. Atlanta so if you represents. Want intimate comedy, go there. It's like when you go see Close Up Magic, this is like Close Up Comedy at the Laughing <laughs> Which is Skull the best. In Atlanta. Uh, so anyway, Mayor Michael Nutter in Philadelphia says that it's he's going to sign a bill where it'll be only 25 bucks if you got caught with under an ounce of marijuana. A $25 ticket. You'd have to go to court, but there'd be no criminal record. And it's 100 bucks if you get caught smoking in public. So every time I'm in public, I'm just gonna have like a hundred bucks on me. Yeah, is my plan. Yeah, that's because the officer would probably just rather have it for himself. Right. And they're never offended if you do that, no. right? Just give them money. Just do it. <laughs> <laughs> Currently, the law is 200 minimum for possession and requires drug courses and an arrest record. So I'm glad I've never been caught there. But I do love you, Philadelphia, and congratulations on becoming the largest city in America to decriminalize. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and we'll be right back. Yeah. <laughs> rip off Morgan Spurlock, like that's all I'm doing now, is just whatever he does, I'm gonna rip it off. Cause we're making a movie! We're making a movie! Sir, you have a baby on your back. Just a heads up. What's happening, what are we doing? 
um, 2,602 viewers. Yeah, only 400 shy of the, the absolute record. Um, I can, you know, put in a plea right now. Come put on, in a you plea. guys. Come on. Let's get 400 more people. What's going on? Let's go until we get 3,000. <laughs> Let's go until we at least match the number, right? Yeah, we, that's Thanks, what happened last time is we just threatened to keep going and it made it made it shoot right up Oh, really? Yeah, like they almost like everybody we got to watch this so that it'll stop <laughs> 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 It was an interesting uh, experiment uh, But let's do your plugs you guys Margaret Cho and Shooter Jennings are all over the place entertaining the people uh, this weekend, uh, Margaret's going to be at Wise Guys in West Valley City, Utah. That's a good, that's a good club. Salt Lake City, basically. Salt Lake City, yeah. It's a good club. But it's the West Valley location. They got yes. a couple over there. So come so on. That's always confusing to the pot smokers, so be careful. Yeah. Uh, September 19th and 20th, you're in West Palm Beach at the uh, Improv there, I assume. Mm -hmm. That's Gigantic right. Gigantic club. Is it One huge? of the biggest clubs in the country. Oh, push that date. Unnecessarily huge. I got to sell it. September I September 19th and 20th, you guys. If you want to be a few, uh, please you come. Know, about 50 yards away from Margaret Show. I need to make my mortgage. Well, she tells her jokes. Please, God. October 3rd and 4th in uh, Buffalo. At I assume helium there. That's correct. I'm good at this game. You're really good. October 10th and 11th, you're going to be at Stand Up Live or the Improv in Phoenix. Stand Up Live. <laughs> Stand Up Live. Yeah. <laughs> October right? 16th and 17th, comedy on stage in Madison, yeah. Wisconsin. And October 25th, I'll be there too. Yeah. So look for us to smoke out in the parking lot of the Shrine Auditorium in Los Angeles for uh, Festival Supreme. Well, um, are you going to sing? I thought it was like a music comedy festival. Last you do year it was all music, and this year it's a bunch of comics who yeah, don't so sing. I sing. All, all I got to do is talk. I'm going to sing. I'll sing a little bit. Now, now, you, now you threw down the gauntlet. What I'll if we sing didn't for do ALS. That's what, what I'll do. Yeah. Why don't what? we do um, Don't You Want Me, Baby, by the Human League? Because right. you're so, so, so human league in my memory. Okay. <laughs> Just gonna agree to it. Just agree. Hope it goes away. <laughs> Shooter Jennings, you guys, the new album, Don't Wait Up for George, is available now wherever you get smaller albums. And uh, <laughs> September 19th, I'm not gonna be able to guess any of these. Uh, September 19th, you're in Medina, Minnesota. Where is that even? Like north of Minneapolis? I have no idea. Yeah, right? I, at that place, I have no idea where it is. I think it's close to Minneapolis, though. September 26th, you'll be in uh, Indianapolis. Uh, September 28th, Prestonsburg, Kentucky. October 22nd, Birmingham, Alabama. October 23rd, Starkville, Mississippi. I hope people are watching in these places because I bet they're pretty scared to smoke weed in uh, in some of the. Oh no, they have to, no. They, no, they, 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 they. There's weed all over the place. Yeah, oh, of weird. course there is. Yeah. Out in the country like that? Oh, for yeah. sure. That's all they have. <laughs> yeah. And hopefully the internet. They uh, hope a cop comes if they're in trouble. Yeah, they will. Yeah, please make a cop, a cop come. 24th and 25th, it says you're going to be in Oklahoma, so that's a fun game. Find him in Oklahoma somewhere. <laughs> and then uh, October 26th, <laughs> he's going to be in Kansas City, Missouri. I assoup not at the improv there. Oh, Shooterjennings.com. Yeah, that's you guys. to sort that out. Yeah. <laughs> Shooterjays.com, it's got it all right there. I'm gonna try to catch up to you somewhere on the road and uh, and see another Man, show. I would love I wanna that. go to Denver with you. Oh, I'm gonna be there uh, Monday. Do you just, should Monday I just night. go? Monday night, come on out. <laughs> Fly to Denver, <laughs> be on my show. Uh, yeah, Monday night at eight o'clock, it's me and uh, you know so far just one other guest on the show. I haven't been to Colorado yet, so I wanna see it. I wanna oh. witness it. Oh, it's so great. We just stand out in the alley and smoke after the yeah. show. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cops could still tell us to go, you know, dispersed, mm -hmm. but they don't. Um, I'm going to be in events at Fantastic Fest in Austin and uh, Just for Laughs in Toronto. And I'm doing stand-up at the Orpheum Theater in Sioux Falls, South Dakota on October 11th. Uh, DougLovesMovies.com for all the deets you need. We still have mugs and t-shirts. If you go to bit.ly uh, slash Doug Merch, you can get those. And now you guys... I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a count, see where we're at, uh, viewer wise. But since you two are very high, would you say you're pretty high? Pretty high pretty to good. middling. Middling. Yeah. <laughs> I never understood that expression. Um, <laughs> middling. Uh, you guys get to watch a magic trick. Yeah. yeah. It's Gabe time. Wait, the number went down. <laughs> Gabe, save us. Hey guys, how's it going? Good. Margaret, do me a favor. Pick a card, any card. Perfect. Show it to Shooter. Show it to Jake over there. Got it? All right, place it back here anytime you want. Right there. 
All right, I'm, do me another favor and just press down on the cards like that. All right, one card, one card only, just by pressing down, actually turns blue. What, did it? Did it? Was that it? Did it? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you remember? It. Yeah, that's it. All right. I forgot. <laughs> That's fine. Do me a favor. That's though. it. Uh, turn your hand over. I'm going to take your card. Put your other hand on top of it. All right, shooter. Tell me when to stop. Now. Right there. Take a look at that card. Got it. Got it. All right. Show it to the camera. All right. Press down on the deck for me. All right. One card. One card only. Actually changes color. Wait. Do you see a blue card, Margaret? There's only one blue card here. Let me turn that over. Oh wow. <laughs> Show the other side. You gotta show the blue side. That's part of the <laughs> part, of the, part of the illusion. I think is that it was a blue one. If that had been a red ace, people would've been like, "What?" That was excellent. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome, man. Um, you know what? All those plugs I was doing, I was rattling off plugs. I think we, you know, started to lose a few viewers because they thought it was it was really over. So I don't want to I don't want to hurt you guys. You got a great number today. I'm very proud of you, and uh, I don't want to ruin it by. <laughs> Dragging the show on, <laughs> the numbers keep going down. What, what if Let's we keep did going till no wait, one's watching. Why don't, we, why don't we go to zero? Why don't we see if Let's, we can go to I, see if we can somebody's outlast gonna, them? One person <laughs> is going to leave it on yeah. on their thing and then leave. Yeah, you know, but yeah. that one person is going to ruin it. And yeah. we have to wait for them to turn it off. <laughs> wait for their mom to tell them to go to bed. Um, but thank you guys so much thank for being you. here. And uh, have some more of this marijuana if you'd like. Oh, then uh, <laughs> I'm going to hit this thing again uh, right after I say goodnight. And uh, we're, on, we're back on the regular schedule. Maybe the time might shift. We'll wait and see. But uh, we'll see you next Wednesday. Yeah. Thanks for watching. And be sure to subscribe to my channel youtube.com slash Doug Benson. Visit blackoutx.com slash Doug for your special offer.